How are you today? Awesome. Lovely. Yeah. How are you surviving the heat? That's a good question. <laughs> All right. Not great. I mean, so we're far, sweating. so good. Yeah. We got pants on because you're not supposed to wear shorts on stage right. or at interviews. Back. It's just kind of a thing. So. <laughs> So we're, we're toughing it out here. Trying to find the shade wherever possible, really. Yeah. Nice. So how do you guys manage with such a big act? Uh, you know, you guys have a lot of members. Yeah. What's that like? What's the best and the worst of that? I feel like we're pretty good at, at being pretty, pretty conscious of other people's space. And I think we get along pretty well because of that. You we definitely don't... need that. Yeah. It's also that's... pretty good like when we need to load in gear because you have so many people to help out and bring exactly. all this stuff in. Beforehand, it works yeah. that way. Yeah. It's kind of bad when you want to like lie down or something though, there's always someone on you. Yeah. They're never like tripping over each other though. Pretty much yeah. always. Oh. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much every <laughs> day. You get on a little yeah. small stage and there's seven of us up there and yeah. all the gear, you kind of got your own little small footprint. But The only bad thing I would say is like trying to go eat somewhere, it's like waiting for seven people, eight people to get yeah. ready to go to a restaurant. It's like gentle. And you guys tour for a, a while, so that's a big deal actually. It's a bit of a deal, but, yeah. but that's it. That's, that's, that's it. Yeah. But otherwise it's all good. Yeah. All great. So the other side of this is that it's taken you guys a while to make a new album because the last album did so well and it was so popular. What is that like? Because I think most artists would be like, I want that. That's exactly what I want in my life. Well, it's interesting. I mean, it's, it's sort of good and bad because we all have that, that spark that makes you want to create things, but then you don't really get to because you have to be like touring and stuff. Now, I don't want to make it seem like touring is not amazing, but... It's like when you do it for sort of three years straight on one record, you're like, ah, oh, I just want to go back and record something else. But well, you yeah. find a way. It's, it's still fun. And we were lucky. like We were afforded the time to take our time with the record rather than just rush it into two weeks or a month. So having months to experiment and, and, and really make it what it is, is yeah. you couldn't ask for any more, I don't think. Well, so after all this time, you guys have stage fright anymore? Like... It's been a number of years that the band's been together. Uh, if I'm right, it's ten now. Yeah. yeah. So you? do you actually have stage fright? Do you, have, do you get stage fright? No. I feel like I don't I, know if I ever did. Did you ever? Yeah. I don't think I, so. You know, it's really weird. I don't think I did. I feel like in later years I kind of have, but it depends. Like if we do a little huddle before a show, and there's like ten or fifteen minutes to kill that we didn't know were there, then you start like over analyzing things and thinking like, that's a big crowd. I can't fuck up. I can't screw up or whatever. And then, you know. <laughs> And that kind of sucks, but <laughs> we'll cut that out. But uh, yeah, every now and then, it's weird. I even get stage fright for like little crowds. Big crowds is like not so much, but it's, I don't know. Yeah, I think I, I was in a choir when I was in grade six, and I had this big solo that I had to do, and I knew the words. It was uh, the, the third verse from We Three Kings of Orient at our uh, Christmas concert. And I totally knew the words, but I had my, the words written in front of me anyway. And when it came to my big moment, I started to sing, and then I just like panicked. And I, and I had to look down to read the words, but then I couldn't find it, and I stumbled over my line, and I was so embarrassed. I kind of like hid behind my sheet music for the rest in of silence. the thing. In silence. Yeah, just like kind of, oh! Anyway, <laughs> so I had that really bad experience really young, and ever since then, I've never really had anything quite so bad. So I guess I just don't really get the stage fright thing anymore. Well, that's yeah, amazing. That's <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's awesome. What's the weirdest thing that's happened to you guys on stage? Because after so many years again, must be a few things. What's the weirdest, the weirdest thing? Yeah, I don't know. We've, I wish we had a good, we should have a good yeah, story. Yeah, we should but have you, one, but we really don't. You your leg and kept playing. Yeah, we're, no. not, we're not really that cool, you know? No. <laughs> we're not really a cool band. <laughs> We're just like, hey, you remember that How time you played a note and it was like the wrong one? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, nothing interesting happens to us. <laughs> um, so, I mean, do you guys have any hobbies outside of music? Do you have time for hobbies outside of music? What do you have? I. You play a lot of other tunes, though. We, we play a, a lot of other stuff. Phil and I have a kind of a fun other side project that we play in together. Uh, we, you know, you do a lot of sort of musical stuff, but. I, I don't know. You make beer. I've been brewing a cool. bunch of beer lately. Pretty pretty excited about it, yeah. And it's, I, it's like, it's turning out all right. I'm, I'm, I'm figuring it out. I mean, there's not too many variables. It's just being anal about your cleanliness and making it work. And and yeah, big fan of coffee. That's, that's yeah. We, a good thing. we get is, nerdy yeah. on coffee. We actually, the first thing we do every morning on the road is we get up, everybody gets online, and we track down the best coffee in whatever town yeah. we're in. And then it's a mission to like try to get there. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's a big tour thing for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Uh, so, what does a performance day look for you guys like? Like, what do you do to get ready for the stage? I do a few mediocre stretches, and then what do you do? Do you do anything? I do some like. Yeah, I do like the you know the yeah. fingers. That's about it. And then do we, some windmills, you know? Yeah, a few windmills. <laughs> but then all we really have is a little huddle right before we take the stage. And yeah. Nothing we too all, crazy. We all kind of huddle together and get really close and do a little... A little pep talk, a little positive reinforcement. Yeah. And so if there's any, like, you know, weird vibes somewhere after being on the road for two months, it's like, all right, everyone, let's just, like, let's relax. Like, yeah. Things are all right. Like, look at our lives right now. Yeah. It's all right. Things and are going to be okay. Everybody gets focused then to do, like, the thing that we have to do, which is go out and play. So, yeah. It's good. So, now the other side of the band is your roots are from Newfoundland. Right. What do you guys want fans or people to know about Newfoundland that maybe they wouldn't know? To, to know about Newfoundland? Yeah, because I, I think it's kind of a misunderstood province in some ways. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it definitely has its own sort of language <laughs> and, yeah. and culture and stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I. I, we always kind of feel like ambassadors every time we go anywhere. People always ask us, you know, what's it like to be in Newfoundland? And I don't really know. We haven't really... We've gone to other places, but we've never been from work, yeah. from somewhere else. So it's like... I think we still really love it. Like, I know you love it. I yeah. love where we're from. It's. I would recommend people come there and check it out. Lots of great food and lots of great things to see. The icebergs are in. The whales are flopping around like fishing <laughs> like food fisheries open we shouldn't be talking about the fishery that's like no i know but there's that's a stereotype right? i know <laughs> but it's still wicked well one really cool thing about newfoundland is that and a lot of people say this when they come to the folk festivals and stuff they say that the sort of average level of musicianship amongst like just average people is ex it's extremely high compared to most places that people travel so like your dentist might be just yeah. like the best violin player you've ever heard or you know and like everyone plays something yeah, yeah and there's this thing there's this like expectancy that everybody has to like be involved in music I, at least certainly in the circles that that we yeah. and our families and stuff yeah. maybe that's how we all ended up coming together right. but that's definitely a thing in newfoundland i remember specifically talking to some some musicians who came in for the folk festival last year and they were like, this is crazy. It's like when you go to Nashville and it's just everybody is an awesome musician. It's like really kind of scary in a way. But it's not scary at all. It's just like, yeah. Anyway. Come on. That's one Come thing. over. That's one yeah. thing. So how did the Fargo Island, is it Fargo? Fogo. Yeah. Fogo, sorry. How did that come about? I and mean, Was that tied into your love of hometown and home province? I think it was a bit of that for sure. And uh, a good friend of ours, Mark Bennett, the guy who directed the... Uh, the piece. He's uh, he's their graphic designer at the Fogo Island Inn and for their art society, and and so he was the inn. Like we've been friends with him for years, and and yeah, it, it kind of came together pretty easily. There was an opening in one of the studios, and there was a church that was vacant, so we drove out and and set up in this small town, Newfoundland, and it was yeah, it's cool, really cool. Yeah, I think we yeah, I mean it was mostly just us playing, <laughs> but I think we did show like some of like what the island is yeah. actually about, you know. And there's, there's like caribou everywhere. Yeah. We like in order to get out to this art space where we shot part of the video, we had to like load in all the gear like 20 minutes in over the bog and you just look up and there's like caribou 10 feet away from you just like hanging out. Yeah. You're like, "Hey, what's up?" You know, really weird. Super awesome though. Super awesome. Yeah. All right, well, last question is who else do you want to see here this weekend? Who else do we want to see? I well, we actually, unfortunately, have to fly out tomorrow night. I, I, I know. I really want to see Kendrick Lamar, like, really yeah. bad. That would, uh, be, that would be great, yeah. But then, I mean, Neil Young is on tonight, so we'll definitely check that out. Yeah. And uh, Future Islands on, That's on late, late night tonight. tonight. That's yeah. going to be awesome. So, yeah, we'll have, we'll have a good night. We're going to have a good night. Yeah. Cool. Well, have fun. Thank you very much. Thanks, man. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Thank you. Cheers.